And I'm super excited to be talking about this next project called Uncuts of Mysteria that has a brand new game. They have a play to earn component. It's going to be free to play. They have a bunch of cool NFTs. I love the artwork. So we're going to talk about uh, what this is all about. I'm going to show you guys the trailer. We'll go through the website and of course talk about how you guys can be involved if you guys choose to do so. So let's go Uncuts of Mysteria. website at ankots.com a-n-k-o-t-s i'll put the link in the description so you guys can check this out yourself but like i said i think a lot of people are gonna like this because of the fact that it's easy to get into i think that's the number one thing uh, when people think about okay which games we should try out this game is free to play uh, and it's play to earn so uh, if you're spending your time playing game you might as well be earning in the process so that's gonna be really cool there's definitely be a ton of players uh, in this game it will be available uh, on a mobile device so ios and android We'll talk about that and kind of the timelines. Uh, if you guys are wondering what the game is going to be like, and obviously uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, more of it, but it's going to be an uh, it's gonna be like auto chess, auto battler. So if you guys are familiar with uh, either auto chess or team fight tactics, uh, you'll probably uh, understand what this game is about. But we'll kind of go through some of that today. But it's super exciting. This is the website. Let's go through some of it today. Like I mentioned before, uh, I love the artwork. I love the whole entire world that they're building. Uh, I think it's really uh, exciting, and I just can't wait to you know definitely try it out for myself. But definitely uh, talk about it with you guys today. So uh, I think it's gonna be really cool. I think they're doing a lot of things uh, that I think you guys will like and I think a lot of people will like as well. So uh, it says the arena. Habits of Mysteria spend their free time attending events at the arena where the strongest trainers compete with one, ag one against each other in a battle of wits and strength to determine which chamber has the strongest ankots. PvP battles was the core function of gameplay in ankots of Mysteria. So then they, which is really cool because they're also going to have like rankings. So I really think about, uh, if you think about the other popular games, Team Fight Tactics, one of the most popular games that people stream on Twitch and like Dota o Underlords, a uh, ton of people play that uh, as well. Uh, but the idea is that it's definitely going to get people excited and really get them competitive. Uh, and I think that's really going to draw a lot of people to this project, not only just play it, but also to watch it. So I think that's a lot of opportunity as well. So I think it's kind of cool how they're, really building this whole entire world and I think that's awesome and like I said it's going to be play to <coughs> play to earn which is awesome but they'll also be having uh, leaderboards where you can earn prizes and then potentially tournaments uh, in the future and they're gonna have this, like this huge uh, prize pool uh, as well based off their tokens. So there's a strange world mysterious stones and spirits scattered throughout the various lands and cots are naturally drawn to collecting combining these scatterings. Strangely, once combined, these resources form rare artifacts that possess powers unknown to common folk. So players can assign their ancots to pieces of land, and we'll talk about that, for the collection of elemental stones and spirit of the mist in order to craft orbs and love spirits. Uh, this is the seasonal rankings, like I mentioned. Uh, definitely going to be uh, an exciting component of it. Obviously, being able to see the top players really motivate you guys uh, to get better, and you'll have exclusive rewards in uh, ANKT, which is the... Uh, symbol of the token of this project uh, and I think that's a great uh, thing you're definitely going to see the value uh, there and obviously the time that you put in really pay off uh, they'll also have breeding so if you guys definitely want to you know really mix it up and figure out like which is the best um, you know uh, ANCOTS to 
uh, bring it together. I think that's definitely going to have a whole entire layer of this. Obviously, that's a super popular thing with uh, games out there, and it's great that they're bringing this to the blockchain space. Uh, they said, uh, you can use Love Spirits to create a summoning pack between two unique ANCOTs from their collection. The pack results in the creation of brand new ANCOT ready for battle. So I can't wait to learn more about, obviously, the ANCOTs themselves, but also the different breeding. And I think that's really going to change the value and create this whole entire ecosystem of, hey, this ANCOT is really uh, you know, good to breed with, the value that's going to go up. So uh, really awesome. Players can farm a summoner's pack between two ANCOTs using LVS. Uh, if the pack can create a new ANCOT, it inherits and tributes and uh, natures from the original ANCOTs. New ANCOT can be sold in the marketplace, NFT, like I said, or used in Battle Arena. So if the new um, if the new ANCOT you make is really good in battle, obviously the values can go up. So it's just kind of this cool entire ecosystem that they're creating. Uh, so if you guys want to learn more about this, you guys can. Um, so it says, Mysteria is a world filled with powerful creatures using magic terrains. It's logical that it should be formed a foundation, just as phenomenal. So the idea is that they're building this uh, on Polygon. They provide users with extremely low gas. And I'm learning about new, a lot of new projects going to Polygon. Obviously, I talk a lot about Polygon. I'm a huge fan, so I think it's great that they're doing that. Um, so let's check out uh, some of the roadmap. Uh, in phase one, which was last year in July, it was just kind of like planning. Uh, phase two was uh, planning, but also launched their white paper, uh, started the game design, they launched their website. Uh, January, um, so a couple months ago, was the marketing plan for brand awareness, offline events, uh, ANKT whitelist, uh, and then they showed more trailers. And then March was the marketing partnership reveal, game reveal announcement of the NFT whitelist, and then the dashboard referral system was launched, uh, the NFT reveal, the blind box had airdrops, and then launch of uh, and a and KT on launch pads, launch of the liquidity pools, and then April this month, the NFT reveal, referral system, completion of marketplace development, NFT smart contract, and then PvP matching algorithm. And there's again a bunch of exciting things to come. Uh, May will be the breeding smart contract, alpha version, in game barter system. June will be the completion of land NFT smart contracts, la launch uh, of on launch pads, blind boxes, whitelist, and then again more July. Uh, completion of NFT smart contract, breeding system, reveal of land and orbs NFT, which we'll talk about, and then the beta launch will be there as well. So definitely check out the uh, everything going on, but it's a combination of airdrops and blind box uh, minting in the near future. So if you guys want to look into tokenomics, you guys can check this out um, yourself uh, as well. Uh, they kind of talk about the supply, the ecosystem, what's alloc what the allocated is about. And if you guys want to learn about their team, uh, you guys can. Uh, they have a really strong team behind. They're showing their uh, current uh, office, which is really cool, them actively working on it. You typically don't see this in blockchain projects, but they're definitely a different type of project. They're, uh, you know, a company that's really eager to make sure that they're bringing quality uh, for you guys. And you can learn all about their backgrounds in not only crypto, but, um, you know, game development and obviously uh, community building as well, which is awesome. It's like awesome to see uh, their commitment to this. Uh, and I think that's uh, really great. So if you want to learn more about this project, they have a ton of information on the website. We'll kind of go through some of this today uh, so you can learn about their storyline. Uh, I'll leave that to you guys to learn on your own. Or you can learn about the NFTs, which we'll check out today. Obviously, at the core of it are the ANCODs. And you can check them out, what they look like here. Uh, like I said, I love the artwork uh, behind that. But I think one of the most important things uh, to know about them is the different types that they are. So there's an earth one, uh, there's a water one. And then there's a wind one. And then those, of course, they have the fire one. So let me know in the comments what you guys uh, think about them. But they all have different attributes and they all act differently. So I think definitely people are going to uh, kind of sway towards the one that they uh, like. So you guys can learn about them. Like I said, each one is unique in their own way. Uh, there's also the concept of orbs. So they said uh, there are four distinct orb classes uh, based off the elements. So wind, fire, water, and earth. Remember, we talked. We just talked about how each of the ANCOTs have their own um, uh, type as well. So each orb class are made up of three orbs, each with a unique ability, skill, or special move. So the orbs in each orb class have varying degrees of power. The higher the power, the pure ANCOT needs to be to hold it. So it's really cool when you actually see the different, uh, and you could click on each one of these to learn more about the different types, but each ANCOT is going to have a varying different ability based off the elemental that represents them uh, and, and they're made up of. So uh, really cool. So they, and they kind of give examples where, uh, you know, that's how they get their powers and that's what they do. So you could click into each one of these and kind of like learn more about them. Obviously, uh, everyone's going to be uh, swayed towards one that they specifically like and obviously uh, your gameplay style which is actually really uh, unique and definitely like I said I think this game is obviously designed for everyone to play but it has the layer of depth uh, that everyone's going to enjoy especially on the competitive front 
Uh, I think that's going to be uh, super important. So there's two types of NFTs. There's the ANCOT NFT and then there's the land NFT. So players must assign one or more of the ANCOTs to pieces of their own lands. Then they go around collecting various stones and spirits depending on the unique body parts, which we kind of talked about uh, previously, uh, and the elemental makeup of the land. So each one of the lands will have their own elemental makeup from those one of those four elementals. Uh, at the end of duration, players receive a collection of resources. So each land can have a different allocation of resources, and the players can use these resources to craft orb NFTs. Remember, we talked about the orb obviously different uh, elemental types as well, uh, and LVS tokens. And we'll talk a little bit about uh, what each of the tokens uh, are used for. Here's the different tokens, the dual token ecosystem. So if you click on ANKT, uh, ANCOT tokens, uh, they are called by the Merchant Mysteria, the primary uh, tokens of the AOM, <laughs> ANCOT's Mysteria ecosystem. Uh, you can earn ANC through ranked battles at the arena. Each season, players rank among the top 100 in the arena, receive a large amount as rewards. They can be used to purchase ANCOT, land and orb NFTs, and can be staked in order to become part of the Citadel of Mysteria, which is the DAO uh, portion of this project. Uh, and then the LVS, which we kind of talked about, is the Love Spirits. Most commonly known is the ecosystem secondary token, are formed by cleansing spirits at the shrine's task with the establishment of new life in Mysteria. So crafted by combining spirits collected by ANCOTs throughout the game, you could use LVS to summon new ANCOTs, which should be sold at the marketplace, or used in battle arenas. LVS goes to be sold directly to other players in the marketplace, or you could just simply just exchange it for ANKT. And if you want to take a deeper dive into different elements, you can uh, Earth, Wind, uh, Water, Fire. They also have a section on the website. Uh, for that. If you want to learn more about the spirits and stones, they said, uh, again, the ANCOTs explore different parts of the land to search resources such as spirit and stone. Uh, so if you guys want to learn more about that, I think this is important, the mystery mart, uh, mystery mart. Uh, it's different, uh, not to be confused with a, a regular marketplace that allows players to purchase or sell ANCOT, land, or orb NFTs. It's a different place where you can, um, you know, check out and sell different types of resources. De remember, depending on each of the land, it's going to have different um, allocation of them. So you guys could definitely uh, check that out if you guys want to. Arena battles. So which NFTs are used in arena battles is the ANCOT NFTs, of course, and then the orb NFTs. Uh, you pick your lineup of ANCOTs to use and get into battles in the arena. Uh, there are various modes, which is actually really cool. Uh, and they actually show off some of the, the different uh, battle board placements and then the single target builds and area effect abilities as well. It's kind of cool how they kind of show off these animations, which I think look really great. Uh, so various modes. So uh, rank battles, six for six. Uh, practice battles, three versus three. And then winner takes all battles of three versus three as well. Uh, and again, if, like I said, if you're familiar with this, the battle is similar to team fight tactics or um, auto chess, basically one on one uh, versus uh, multiple players. Uh, they start the round by placing the ANCOTs on strategic location on the battle board. So you're definitely going to uh, really matter about the different placement of it. Even moving it one step away is going to fundamentally change how the battle plays out, which is really cool. Definitely going to take a lot of uh, trial and error and skill, but also definitely your experience will definitely help out in the future. Uh, basically, they fight um, against one another automatically uh, until all, all ANCOTs of one side have been defeated. Uh, between the different rounds, there'll be different rounds, you'll be able to uh, make some changes uh, to your ANCOTs, uh, give them powerful orbs, that's why the orbs are important. Uh, that's really where the skill takes, even though you're not actively commanding them every move, but kind of your decisions uh, along the way is going to be very valuable, kind of like setup and decisions along the way. You're kind of like their uh, coach uh, along the way, but also how you set them up uh, is obviously uh, really the, the basis of it uh, and the ones obviously you use. Uh, the game ends when the opponent's player hit point goes to zero and no longer can play another round.
four elements uh, are natural counters to one another, and you can see how this uh, works. Obviously, water counters fire, fire counters earth, earth counters wind, and then wind counters uh, water, and it just it goes in a huge circle. Uh, and simply benefit or are detriment for these elemental counters during battles, depending on the elemental makeup. So that's good to try to figure out, you know, uh, how you're going to set up your team, and then, and then obviously the different attributes of them. Uh, and if you actually go down to here, there's four distinct uh, parts: horns, wings, eyes, and tail. Uh, and each part uh, belongs to a different elemental. The eyes, wings, and tail combine to form its appearance. Each of the four parts are not generated and can belong to any four unique elements. These body parts affect the stone collection speed. How exactly do various kinds of body parts affect the stone collection speed as explained in the table below? So if you guys want to learn about the body part, the name, and the passive effect. Uh, and you can even check out the body parts and the orb slots, which is really important. So um, orbs are NFTs that we given to Angots to heighten their powers during arena battles. Um, and then there's like different levels of them, actually. So like uh, single target AOE abilities, level 3 orbs grant Angots powerful nukes and other damaging abilities using combat. Uh, level 2 orbs give them passive abilities, level 1 orbs boost their attributes. So if you guys want to check out kind of like how this works, uh, you guys could uh, check this out here. They kind of go into more in depth onto everything involved in there. Uh, effects of nature on attribute and spirit collection speed, uh, kind of the nature of the effect and then kind of the passive effect. But like I said, a lot of information uh, and a lot of strategy. Like I said, this game is very deep and it's definitely going to be something that's going to, you know, really challenge you. But I think a lot of people are going to love the fact that, you know, there's a ton of customization and a ton of different ways where they can battle and it's going to really make you want to improve so that you're using the best uh, setup and execution as possible. To learn more about this project, you can follow them uh, on Discord or Twitter. Uh, like I said, they're always constantly working with new partners. Uh, they just, they obviously, they're working with Polygon, Polygon Network. They're also working with Three Pillars Gaming. Uh, they've done, uh, they're working with Surtech to ensure their audits. Uh, and I think they're really just trying to make sure that they provide you guys with the best quality uh, game and make sure that they're doing everything uh, properly in the best way possible. And like I can say, I think really them being on uh, Polygon is going to let them to do a lot of great things, which is awesome. Uh, right now, the game is currently in alpha testing mode. That's why I suggest you guys join their Discord or their Twitter for more information. I think they're definitely building a strong community. I think a lot of people are getting uh, excited about this. They're doing a ton of things all the time. They're doing this Tamer's Bounty if you guys want to learn more about this. This is all the stuff, one of the main reasons why you should be following them because they're always sharing new partnerships, always sharing uh, new things to get involved with it. So definitely check it out. And of course, they're always showing new uh, images of the game and getting you guys excited. Uh, like I said, I kind of touched on a lot of different things um, here, but there's so much more uh, for you guys to take a deep dive into. Uh, they'll be launching their tokens soon. They'll also be releasing their NFT blind boxes. Uh, I'll also be opening an NFT blind box on my channel in the near future, so stay tuned uh, for that. Uh, they'll also be launching their closed beta and giving away early access to the game for all supporters. So again, if you guys are interested in this, definitely check it out. It's definitely something I'm going to keep my eye on uh, for the long run. Like I said, I'm already planning my next uh, video uh, with this, which is exciting. So if you guys are interested, definitely check out this Tamer's Bounty. Uh, they're giving away project tokens and an NFT. Uh, and like I said, here's the prize for up to 20,800 ANKT uh, tokens, which is awesome. So you just have to check this uh, link at sweepwidget.com. I'll put the link in the description. Pretty easy to do this. Uh, all you have to do is log in, complete some of these tasks. Uh, down there, and then each time you complete a task, you'll get points to rank you up on the leaderboard. Uh, at the end of the event, the top 250 participants are going to be awarded in the prize pool. So uh, another reason uh, to be involved in this project. And if you guys are interested in like everything I talked about today, if any of this stuff is interesting to you, uh, definitely gives you a reason to participate sooner rather than later. So I uh, can't wait to talk more about this project, something I'm definitely going to be talking about more throughout this year. Um, but thanks everyone for watching. Catch you guys next time.